All right, so we're at this house right here. We usually don't do properties this size. We're working in a retirement community. The properties are a lot smaller. This is a 12,000 square foot grass area. Not the whole lot, but just the grass area is 12,000 square feet. So we actually have a new attachment that we're gonna try out today. We'll show it to you. It's the overseeder that goes on the Eco Lawn top dresser. We put the seed in there and it dispenses the seed as it's throwing the compost out. So it does two jobs at once. Um, so we have 12 yards of compost jammed in the mulch made trailer it, it was heavy it was a it was a ride it took it it handled it very well uh, the only problem is the truck again the truck is a problem the brake controller seems to just want to apply full brake pressure but thankfully i have another one at the house i don't know why one of the trucks i thought needed it but didn't need it so we'll throw that in this afternoon that's really easy we'll get the aerator off sean who's behind you on the camera he'll start the aeration we'll get the front yard done and then while he's doing the backyard, I'll start composting the front yard and putting the seed down. And then by the time he's done in the backyard and I'm done with the front yard, we'll be able to follow each other right around. All right, so we're gonna get at it. Watch this. Well, it seemed like it was gonna take me forever, but I finally got done with the aeration, on the front yard at least. Uh, and I gotta be honest, it feels a lot different than doing places in the villages. Just wide open, the behay is a lot different to work with, the soil, the ground was really stiff up by the road and uh, the machine almost like bucked me over it, but I got through it. So before I uh, start working on the back, I'm gonna take a little break and uh, I'm gonna come over here and see what Tom's up to. I think he's almost done spreading the front now. So how are you coming along? This is working out really good. I'm kind of impressed. You know, the Eco Seeder that's made by Eco Lawn, we have never used this before. We're overseeding this property as well, a Bahia seed. It's a coated seed. Um, Hancock Seeds gave it to us. They said to get the coated seed. Well, they didn't give it to us, we bought it, but they advised us on it. What this does, it's kind of cool. It's stainless steel. It has an adjustable flap door down lower, so you can adjust how much seed's coming out. And if you look down here, it's dropping the seed right onto the conveyor belt and it's just that little bit that little bit of seeds going out goes out with the compost took me a while to figure out which setting i wanted it started going too fast a little too slow and i found the, the happy spot for this size seed i imagine a different type of seed is going to need different happy spots so uh, i'm happy with it so what i did i closed the gate up a little bit i'm doing a very light coating of the top dressing for the first pass and, and in that light coating i'm putting the seed down with the light coating of compost and then once i'm satisfied with the coverage of the seed um, then we'll go back and do another lighter coat so two half coats will make a full coat so we'll do the next half coat light coat um, and go in a different direction we were prepared in case this cedar didn't work out the way i thought it was going to um, but this is working out great and man this stuff is this stuff is hot
This is working out really good. We have the new Eco Cedar that's putting down a nice thin layer of seed for uh, overseeding. The spreader is working great. Um, okay, we had to pause there for a second. The customer came out and gave us waters. Oh, I love it when customers treat us nice. It's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, the overseeder working great. Eco Lawn top dresser working great. Sean's out there doing, doing the, uh, the core aeration. What do you call it? Core aeration. That's what it is. Well, I've just finished up doing the aeration here on the property, and Tom is uh, working on the second coat of the compost. Uh, as he said, the first one was a light dusting of the compost and the overseed, and our load is about halfway done with up there, so now he's gonna go over one more time with a heavier coating of the compost by itself, now that the seed's all gone. So I would say that this is less common of a service to be performed on properties like this. Uh, however, it's not completely uncommon. Um, case in point, it's a joy working on this street, but it's nice to be able to do your thing without multiple interruptions and whatnot. So it's just nice and quiet out here. It'd be a nice place to live. Lots of pine trees and all that. 